Hey guys, um, just gonna put out a short video this morning. It's Sunday morning. Um, you know, I'm gonna put out three little bit longer ones tonight. Uh, at least two for sure. Um, but this one, there's a reason why I titled it um, the way I did. But I was in prayer and the Lord gave me some scriptures. Of course, He always does too. You guys too, I'm sure, but me a lot too. So, but it was it was Isaiah one seventeen. Jeremiah 117, and I'm sorry, Isaiah 17, Jeremiah 17, and Psalms 117. And he spoke to me about, we've been, we we're being warned, we've been warned, forewarned by the prophets, but by the Bible, but by the Holy Ghost, by God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word. May not be may not have been listening, but I've been warned. But it had nothing to do with this coronavirus, guys. Kind of a little bit, but this is just like almost like the the warning in the Titanic. You know, there's icebergs ahead. So what do they do? Full steam ahead. This craziness, frantic panic, guys. Who would have heard of this six months ago? Or however long ago? None of us. You would have said that. If you would have told people in California they were going to be locked up and are told to stay home and their business businesses, of no people out there, that their businesses had to close down. And then the ones I'm going to put out tonight are about the storm coming on 8-11 to 9-11. But it, he keeps telling, dealing with me, told me a long time ago, but it's all about the idols that we have in America. He told me we have more idols, or he told me we have as many idols as India. I'm like, man, God, what are you, what are you talking about? So tonight's going to be the idol of convenience and this megamania idol in America. And then I forget what the third one is, sorry, but... I don't know, it's going to be about idols, kind of. But back to this messy stuff. I get it. I understand it, guys. The reason why I'm putting this out is so we can kind of put this into context. I am not saying this to mock or diminish the hurt and pain of the people that died from this and the hurt and pain of the people that are suffering from this and the seriousness of the disease. What I'm saying is the reason why I put Isaiah 27 1 on there is because it got all, it's all twisted up. Guys are everybody scrambling, they're grasping for the wind. That's in, also in the Bible too. I think it's in Psalms, but it's in one of my messages too. But you can't grasp the Holy Ghost, the wind. You can't grasp the wind. Everybody's looking to for a solution, an answer, a reason, a Lockdown. Uh, they're not looking to God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. Like I said, I'm not diminishing the the, the deaths of these people. A couple weeks, I think a week or so ago, I looked it up. I think it was around 1,400 people in America. Maybe a little bit more now. But this is just a little bit of note to put into context, guys. Yes, I get it. But the nursing homes are full of people dying from diseases. Already, hospitals go down. Pick, pick, take any major city. I'm in Dallas, but go, you know, ten different hospitals. There's a bunch of people dying from diseases, guys, and stuff. And like I said, I'm not diminishing, and knocking, and mocking those deaths because those were loved ones. Those were people's parents, kids, fathers, mothers. Their life matters. So, don't take this the wrong way. But what I'm saying is. Us as a country, we let more children be murdered by abortion. 4,000 a day. Sorry to be a little bit abrasive on this one, guys, but it's time to just... It's time, guys. Where are you worshiping this morning? What building are you in this morning? What church are you in this morning? It's part of what God told me. I was like, man, some of the messages you've been telling me, like, man, God, he's done with this American cultural messy 
religious bunch. Everybody wants to be an apostle, prophet, or a pope. And I'm not knocking just the denomination, okay? The de denomination or non-denominational. They want to be one of those three because they don't because they want to be the large and in charge guy or gal that doesn't have to listen to anybody, including God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost and His Word. Enough. Because then where are you worshiping this morning? The light switch has been flipped off. Because Jesus is the light of the world. Not you and your glory and your building and your church and your ministry and your stuff. Anyhow, that's part of one of the messages tonight, but what I'm saying is, guys, even this, which is another message, but it's about, the, I got a lot of them out there, and even people, other ones, about the economic collapse of this country. Well, all this stuff is coming, guys, and these storms are coming, but it's not for fear. I'm not preaching this for fear to get you to run to, run to a church. There's no churches to run to, honestly, right now. You got to run to Jesus. You got to come to God. Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. It's time to, to, to practice some neology and get rid of your theology. Go to your closet. Get it for yourself. That's the beauty of the cross. That's the whole plan of God was Jesus. So you can come boldly before the throne. But you can't do it. Even in John, no man comes to the Father except through, through me. Got to be through the blood of the Lamb. Guys, there's just a lot going on. But that's not why I'm putting out these messages. There's been a lot going on. It's time to turn. There's a lot to this repentance piece. There's a lot to John. Uh, Acts 2.38. I'm sorry. Repent, be baptized in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sins and be filled with the Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit. The repentance piece has changed. Turn. Give it up. Surrender. I'm all yours, Jesus. The washing is the washing in the water, the word. It doesn't have to do anything to do necessarily with the water that you were baptized in a pool or a church or a river. It's, it's, it's real symbolic, but it's spiritually symbolic. It's cleansing, purification. Then you get filled with the Holy Spirit. Then you're going to get guidance. Then you're going to be led, guided, and directed by the Holy Ghost, which, and, which is a spirit. And then you're going to be also led, guided, and directed by the Word. You're going to be able to see. One of my messages, are you covered in the blood or covered in the mud? So, I'm going to end with this, guys. But, because I don't want this video to be too long. There's some longer ones coming tonight. Please just watch them. Tune in. We're scrambling. Everybody's looking for solutions other than God, other than God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. And God's like, no, 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 no more. Are you listening to what the Spirit is saying to the church? <laughs> We're scrambling, guys. I'll give you one really good example, okay? Everybody on, you know, they're a bunch of garbage out there that people are listening to and filling their mind with and fear and... You know, go to Walmart, try to buy some toilet paper, whatever, you know, or even sell some food. But they're looking to the government for salvation instead of Jesus. They're looking to things and everybody's panicking, franicking and twisted up. That's why I put Isaiah 27, 1. But the Spirit of the Lord lift up a sword and cut the head off that Leviathan spirit, that twisted mess. I'll go into that a little deeper tonight. Mitch McConnell and the president, stimulus package, trillion dollars. Everybody's going to get a check, two checks, 1,200. You know, I really, my news is turned off, guys. I did it for a reason six months ago, but so I try to pick and choose from the internet. So I'll, forgive me if I'm a little off or a little wrong or don't have my facts correctly or 100%. You get the gist of the message. It ain't going to fly. 2400 bucks might help us a little bit, but I don't even know if we'll, it, it's irrelevant. My point is, a trillion dollars or whatever they said it was, what I heard last was a trillion dollars. That's false, phony money, guys. We don't have it. It's fictitious, it's created, it's a lie. Sorry. 
That's part of the economic collapse and the problem. We're trusted in money, the almighty dollar. It's not almighty. Cash is not king. God's going to bring that down. It's going to be worthless, guys, one day. And I'm not being the prophet of doom and gloom or trying to portray any of that garbage. I'm saying God wants us to focus on him and let the manna from heaven, and he's going to take care of us. But not if we don't turn. All that $20 trillion of doing is adding to the deficit. We can't even pay our bills, guys. Every Whenever the government goes to shut down, they hem and haw and all these brilliant minds. It's, you can't blame one president. Yes, a, they were in charge, but Bush, Obama, now President Trump, they all did it. It started out with Clinton. You know, things just started going downhill quick. And the, the debt we can't pay, guys. Don't even They don't even talk about balancing the budget. Hardly. They kind of do, but... They all hem and haw and don't want to shut the government down and come up with some brilliant plans, borrow more money. Figure out a way to print more money. It's phony money, guys. Just like the stock market. And I've got investments, guys. I don't want it to fold either. I don't want the dollar bill to crash and crater either, guys. I need it too, guys. Okay, so I'm not, this is not, you know, something I really want to say or happen or see. But it's part of the lie. It's part of the deception. It's part of the Isaiah 27 moment. It's part of that deceptive spirit. His first lie, his very first lie, was to Adam and Eve. Did God really say that? Get us to question. God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word. So that's what I'm telling you. Go to your source. Um, and your source isn't Walmart and your toilet paper. Because one day that dollar bill is going to be worth the same as your toilet paper. Honestly. Might be your toilet paper. Sorry. Be a little bit crude here. Last, I'll end with this, okay? We, you know, because God, God, God is in charge. Jesus is in charge. The Holy Ghost is in charge, and His Word is in charge. So my Word will go void. We've been hoodwinking God, guys. That's why a lot of these. A lot of these churches aren't going to survive. They call themselves church. They stuck a little bit of the name of God or maybe even once in a while portrayed Jesus or even tried to say a few things about the Bible. A lot of it was just false, phony, fictitious, religious, you know, stuff. I better not get into that because that's one of the other messages for tonight. But he's, he's done with that, guys. He's done with all that stuff, guys. No more. So, anyhow, tune in tonight because there's going to be more about these idols. And it's just time to turn, guys, and get out of this fear factor. So, we love you. Um, I had lost my train of thought there, guys, so I'll have to bring it up tonight. Um, love you guys. Just tune in tonight, please. Um, start sharing some of these videos, guys. It's not just me. I'm not the only one saying this stuff. Some of this stuff, that's why I reposted some stuff from David Wilkerson. He said it in 1973 about the economic collapse. There's another one, the guy that, 2008. It's not that I want to say, okay, I told you the country's going to collapse. No. Look at my ones about the storm. It's not going to be destructive. It's going to be a purging. Yes, there's going to be some destruction. Yes, there's going to be the money's going to have no value. Yes, the country was on fire from one end to the other, and people were dumping wheelbarrows full of money on it because they had no value. The real value is in God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. So, time to get right. So, anyhow, we love you guys. Um, I'll try to maybe make more videos tonight shorter so that people will tune in.